Hey Pit Masters, what's up? Today we're going to find out what the best way is to know if your ribs are done. Look at these ribs, absolutely beautiful. A nice thick cut, a lot of meat on them. But how do you know when these ribs are done? You see, there are some pitmasters, world famous pitmasters, that have their own restaurant and they're well known, and they measure their ribs for doneness by bending them or, I don't know, pulling them. Is that really so? Or do they have a margin where, you know, they are right or they are wrong, but it doesn't matter because the ribs are good anyway and they know they are? It's just a little yeah, sketchy. Especially for us, we are backyard barbecuers. We need to know when our ribs are done. So, today we're going to be measuring our ribs. We're going to test all these ways of seeing if the ribs are done. And we're going to find out which one will work the best for a backyard barbecue. Now, I'm a lucky guy because I got a new device here. And you've seen this before on our show. Oh, that was... Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> That's always a big deception. It's going to be launched this month. So let's take a look. Look at that, that looks good, right? This is the meter plus. Okay, so what we need to do is remove the back and then pull out this little plastic thingy and we're good to go. We can push this little button to see if it's ready to go or not. So now you're wondering, hey, this meter What's the difference with the old one? What they did is they put a repeater in this box. So you put this thermometer in your grill and put the box next to it. And then you can take your phone and go like everywhere. I can have reception at the end of my house. So I'm really, really excited about the update on the product. They did a great job and uh, we're gonna use it today. I installed the app. I was connecting, access, yes. We have connection. Let's put some rub on these ribs. I'll put my gloves on. Of course, we're going to be using the Superlicious Barbecue Rub. Because we have a lot of meat, we want to have a lot of rub on there. Otherwise, we won't get that flavor experience that we're looking for. Oh man, I forgot to take off the membrane on the back of the ribs. Of course, you need to do that first. Let's put some more Superlicious Barbecue Rub on there. I just get too excited. I just want to get this rub on my ribs. I can't wait. And then I forget these things. We got our ribs ready. Now we're going to set up our barbecue for smoky. We'll put in two of these fire starters, light them up. So I actually got this idea from watching a YouTube video from Bon Appetit, it's alive. There was a chef, uh, Rodney, and he's kind of like a famous restaurateur. He does some great barbecue. And he was showing the guys from It's Alive how he knows his ribs are done. But we're not doing a thousand ribs a day like he is. We're just doing a few. So is that really the right technique for us? Is that how we should measure to see if our ribs are done or not? And that's what we want to find out today. Come check this out. Look, look at that. We got a little bit of thin blue smoke going on here. And I know this barbecue is getting up to temperature because it's like, it's going straight up. The thermometer is not reading the temperature that I want yet. It's not to 225, which we're looking for. But I know if I close the lid, the temperature is rising in the grill. So that's what we're going to do. Close it up and set it to the first stripe and let it come up to temperature. We're going to build up our barbecue right now. So we close the lid and we let the temperature come up. The barbecue is heating up and I can feel it. We're going to open it and we're going to set it up for smoking. In this case, we're going to be smoking with a chunk of apple wood. Next, we'll put in these deflector plates. We'll put in our grill grates and we'll let the barbecue come up to temperature once again. Cup of tea. Our grill picked up a nice bit of smoke. There we go, look at that. Time to put the ribs on. Big old slap. There we go. We're going to let this smoke for around two hours or so and then we're going to check for color, see if it's picked up enough smoke. Our ribs have been on for two hours and let's just check on the color. Wow, look at that. <laughs> These ribs look really good already. Of course, they need a little bit more time, but you know, we're getting the meat that's getting real tense and it's heightening up. And this is actually a perfect time. 
to put our temperature probe in, the meter plus. And we're looking for a sweet spot in between the ribs with a lot of meat. And I'm inserting this all the way until all is left is that black tip. Now we're going to place this block right next to the grill and that's going to be the repeater for our temperature probe. Of course we got an update. <laughs> well that happens. Look we got our core temperature. We're at 77 degrees Celsius with an ambient temperature of spot on 110 degrees Celsius and that's 225 degrees Fahrenheit. So we got a way to go because I want to go up to 94 degrees Celsius which is around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I want to set up a custom cook for our ribs. So I'm going to custom cook and then I'm just going to set it to 94 degrees Celsius. That's what I want. Start cook. Now the plus stands for an innovation and the innovation is that the block is the repeater and I just want to see how far that transmitter goes into my house and remember European houses are built with bricks so and concrete so I'm really curious to see if this thing is going to make it up to the bedroom give me a minute it works I got a connection in my bedroom <laughs> epic we reached an internal temperature of 82 degrees Celsius we're going to wrap these ribs in foil with a little bit of sugar and a little bit of butter look at this <laughs> This is my new roll of tinfoil. Listen to this. Boom. That's a roll of tinfoil. I went a little bit overboard and I got not the thickest tinfoil I could find, but really thick tinfoil. Look at that. That's really durable tinfoil. Crazy, crazy. A little bit overkill. Good looking ribs. Real beauties. Put on a little bit of butter and of course some raw cane sugar. You know the tin foil is not even bending. Now we just gotta poke that meat through through. There we go, back on the grill. We reached the core temperature of 92 degrees Celsius, so it's time to get the ribs out of the tin foil. Wow! Look at that. Look at that, nice pull away from the bone. These ribs look absolutely fantastic. How can you tell that this is about done? You know, if you've got thin ribs, if you've got thick ribs, they're gonna be more or less wobbly, you know, and not every rib is the same. So that's gonna hard to determine. We're gonna put it back on the grill. We're going to find out when we finally reached our desired core temperature of 94 degrees Celsius. Now this is apple juice from our own apple trees and we got it pressed and uh, that's going to be perfect for spraying on some flavor. We reached the desired core temperature of 94 degrees Celsius. Time to take it off. That's 200 Fahrenheit by the way. We're going to test these ways to see if they're tender or not. The first test that we're going to do, which people say is a good way to test it, is to poke it. So I'm just going to look for a place between ribs and I'm just going to poke it. And well, it pokes right through and it feels good. I don't know, is it good or not? Uh, I think what you can measure with this is that if there's too much resistance and you can't poke through it, that's a good way to see if it's done or not, but it's kind of a bit I don't know, unscientific. Now, let's try the least scientific one, the one that we saw in the video from uh, Rodney, which is uh, the bend test. And now you see that this is a big slab of ribs, so I'm just gonna, maybe here at the end, and you see it's not bending or breaking or anything if you wobble it, but it could very well be the reason that there's too much meat on there for doing this actual test. So. In this case, this test doesn't work for me. Reading the thermometer and figuring out the temperature is much more accurate. If it works on a steak, why not have it work on ribs, right? In between the bones, we're going to make a cut. Now, what does that 
tell me? Well, basically it tells me that uh, the knife goes through very easily. Um, we even got a little bit of tear on the bottom. So that means that on the point, it's a bit overcooked. And um, in the middle, it's cooked to the temperature that, that we want. We got a nice little bit of smoke ring. We got some of those juices running out here. And that's actually a bit of fat. And the funny thing is I'm looking at the thermometer again, which is still in there, and it reads 97 degrees. So it actually overshot by three degrees after we took it off the grill. I didn't expect that to happen because we we're cooking at a low temperature, but it still happened and it kind of makes sense. So when you're taking it off the grill, it kind of keeps on cooking. And I think that this is okay. This is just fine with me, but we got to take it into consideration. And this is something I wouldn't have known if I just poked it. Let's take out the thermometer and light slice up these ribs and then do the final test, which is actually biting into it. Mm. Look at that, clean off the bone. We got a nice bite into it. It looks really good. We got a bit of a smoke ring. We got a good amount of flavor. I would say these are good ribs. And surely they are tasty. The rib could be a little bit more juicy if we wrapped it a little bit earlier. But still, this is a good rib and I enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys next time. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And I want to say a special thank you to everyone that's a patron to our YouTube channel, which means that they are supporting us. If you want to find out more about that, go down below in the video description. See you guys next time. Until then, it's Maglik and keep on grilling. Oh, by the way, check out the new meter. It's freaking awesome.